in the last episode, we took on Orlando City in the league and we won 4-1 before taking on New England in the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup fourth round. And once again, we were knocked out at the first stage 2-1. Since you've been gone, we're taking on New England once again. And we lost this time in the league 3-2. I uh, had a couple of friendlies up against Ajax and Dortmund and lost both of them 3-1 before uh, taking on Seattle in our derby at their place. And we drew 2-2 in this episode. I think I've come back maybe one game too early but it doesn't really matter because Colorado Rapids at their place and Kansas City at our place. Both of those team, two teams battling at the top of the Western Conference. Portland Timbers. Truly a one-of-a-kind club. They've got the players. They've got the fans. They've even got this guy. But what they really want is the MLS Cup back. But we ain't stopping there. We're going to go all the way. So here we are with the first game of this video where we take on Colorado Rapids who currently find themselves second in the Western Conference. As for Portland, we've slipped off a little bit, quite a little bit actually. Six points or maybe five points behind Kansas City. We do have one game in hand, but our, our form, if we just go back here a second, is not really ideal. If you look at the league or actually the American games, we drew one, lost two, so we won one. So we've won one in one, two, three, four, five, six games. We've won one in six. That's pretty horrific form. So hopefully uh, we can get back to winning ways and get back towards the top end of the table. So currently we are not in the top two spots, which is my goal for this season. Also a little bit of transfer activity to keep you up to speed with. Um, not, I don't think you've, you're aware, but I've, uh, Fernando Adi has now become a Ruben Kazan player. That transfer had been finalised previously, so he's out the door. And we've also lost Lucas Milano. Now, you won't remember Lucas Milano because he was on loan at uh, Estuadedes in Argentina. Um, yeah, he, he didn't really fit the bill for me. I wasn't going to play him, so I got rid of him. I was hoping to free up some space um, for another designated player. So, And I'm not sure what the heck's going on. If you are watching this video, you can give me a clue. I'm trying to, if you look at my registration, I have three, a maximum of three designated players in the squad. So when I try and sign a player, I'm not having much joy at the moment. I'm not, not being able to, to bring one in. The I'm having a right old headache with this salary cap and all those kinds of stuff. Where players such as Valeri's on 29 grand, uh, the cap impact is seven and a half or nearly seven and a half grand. Um, I can't get... I just it doesn't seem to work out for me trying to bring in a player there's a, there's a load of players that I'm interested in but I can't do it anyway if you know if you can help me out let me know in the comments section below so my starting line before this match looks like this Miriam Gold, Porta, Rios, Menzies, Myers, Valeri, uh, Nagby, Dinguino, Blanco, Romalo and Falcon up front and our hosts going with a 4-3-3 so here we go Timbers get the match underway in Colorado packed out stadium which is always good to see free kick for the Timbers Valeri will take it. Looks like it amounts to nothing. And it resulted to a, a yellow card for Anger for the Rapids. Come on, boys. Free kick for Rapids. Mulholland. Anger strikes. Mira parries it out for a corner. Romalo heads it clear. Mulholland. Myers. Blanco. Loses it. Bruin now for Rapids. Boateng. Gashi. Boateng once again makes a little bit of a run. Angel gets the ball. Can he get able to put across? And he does. Bit of a flap by uh, Mira between the sticks. Eventually cleared. And here come the Timbers. Blanco picks out Dinguino. He takes a strike. It's kept in play. But only just Falcon left it in there. I thought it was a dead highlight towards the end there. What a goal. Well, it's not really a, a perler. But uh, dedication by Timbers. Dinguino strikes. Takes the deflection. Hairston keeps it in play. Doesn't keep, a, keep his eye on the ball. And Dinguino nicks it off him. Falcon taps it home. 1-0 lead by the Timbers. And that result doesn't really change much at the top of the table, but it does bring us a little closer to Kansas City, who we will be playing in the next match. And you will get to see it. Can you see? Can you witness? Uh, I better shut my mouth. Yes, I better. Uh, I, I didn't say anything. Ha, ha, ha. Offside. Offside. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Zip it. I will just tell you the facts. There's no. F that was no fact. That was just... A uh, thing. Here comes Gashi. Cerna for the rapid. Big tackle. Big tackle. We are edging towards the end of the season, which is good. And uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm looking forward. I, I don't know when this Champions League business comes in, and, and, and you know, I, I would have thought that we would have been given some details about that, but I've not heard it yet because obviously we won the last season's MLS Cup. Um, so I'm, I'm just a little anxious. Last highlight, possibly, of the half. Romalo strikes, Howard collects. And that should wrap it up. Last couple of seconds here. And there you go. That's the half. Colorado nil. Portland one. So second half gets underway and Colorado kick us off. Inja. Good. Oh, that, was, that was a long time ago, that. Keep up with the times, computer. Boisang Gashi to Bruin. Gat strikes me with a big save. Menz is with the dodgy clearance, but we get away with it. What should we do? Should we... I don't really want to change anything because that usually bites me in the backside. So I'm just going to ride this out. Might be a pretty dull game, but I'm more on about the points than your entertainment at this point. Because we need to get back in this race. Ugh. Gat. Ooh, over the top. Highlights are few and far between. And when they come, they are not that enthralling, so... Last 15 minutes or so. The likes of Chara, Ireland, and Fallen wait on the bench should they need to be. If I get a second goal, I might bring him on. Dinguino's efforts over the top. This will make it a little bit tighter at the top. Three teams separated by just two points. Houston waiting in the wings to pounce. Valeri with a free kick. Howard boots the goal kick towards Gat, Mulholland, Boateng, Hairston, straight at Mira. He's been, he's been competent today, Mira. That is an area I'd like to improve on. This goalkeeper, Blanco, gives it away. Menzies cleans up, though. Dinguini over the top for Romano to chase Solzberg back. He gives away a needless corner. Valeri punts it in there. What's this all about? Is that pen? No. No penalty. Last couple of minutes. Dinguino. you got an overlap. Poorly done. Watts now for Colorado. Gat. Pressure. Time. Oh, I was just about to say time is running out. Oh, golly. Demand more. Simon Island, can you find a winner? Triple substitution with three minutes to go. Pretty, pretty uh, uneventful. It ain't, it ain't, ain't, gonna, ain't gonna do anything. Ain't gonna do anything. Romano, get across it now. Shoot! Oh my goodness. He had, he had, he had it there. The winning goal in his feet right there, but he blew it. Anyway, Rapids won, Portland Timbers won. And that result keeps us in third place. Now it's a four-point gap between us and Kansas City, who we play next. So it's a win. We need to really win it to get ourselves back into the, uh, the Western Conference title chase. In the second game of this video, we take on Kansas City at Providence Park. Now, if you look at the table down here, it looks pretty grim reading, actually. We have seven points adrift of top spot Kansas City. So we really, really need a win. And we haven't, if you look at our form, it's absolutely horrific. We've won one in the last five. We are the MLS champs right now, and we need, to, we need to rectify this and get ourselves back in contention for those top two spots. So my start level for this match is like this. Miringo, Rios, Porto, Menzies, Miller, Myers, Blanco, Nagby, Matox, Romalo, and Falcon. Up front, Stinguino, Chara, and obviously Fallon, if I can get him on here. On the bench. Our oh, visitors going with a 4-4-2. So, got a match get underway. Kansas City kick us off. Diego for Kansas City. Playing through the injuries. Uh, playing through the pain barrier. That's what I was trying to say. Susie back to the keeper. Miller. Blanco over the top. Romalo strikes Mala. Or Mila. Puts it behind. Falcon from the corner. Nagby. Loses it. Diego and McKinnonary. Broken up. Haruna 
injured for Kansas City. They make a quick substitution and Mustavar comes on. Just shy of 15 minutes gone. Just the one shot. And it's for us. Susie, Tiam, Espinosa, Saloy, Mustavar, Gerso, Tiam, Gerso strikes over the top. And that's uh, one strike each. Myers, Nagby, Blanco. Hold it up, boys. Menzis, Miller picks it. Menzis with the cracking pass there. Blanco, Nagby picks out Myers. Cross in there. Falcon strikes straight at Mila. And it's a good, comfortable save for the Kansas City goalkeeper. This result would, if it were to hold, oh, keep my mouth shut. Porter with a goal line clearance for the go uh, corner kick. Salo strikes, hits the defender, comes back out to Susie. To Bessler, he can strike him. Tiam, hustled in the bustle. Salo is broken up. Porter now, what can he do? Picks out a long pass for Falcon to chase. Bessler stumbles and bumbles. Blanco, Romalo, Matox. And McKinnon there now for Kansas City. Sets up Salo, strikes and goes well wide. Whew, bit of action-packed drama there. But if the results were to stay like this, one, I would be disappointed, but two, we would be seven points uh, adrift with one game in hand on Kansas City, but still Colorado looking comfortable in second as well with uh, uh, a game in hand or two games in hand on Kansas City. So they could get themselves in. And what was my goalkeeper doing, abandoning his post like that? But it's pumped forward. Now backwards, here come, oh, goodness gracious, McKinney puts it wide for Kansas City. It's the table has turned in this match. It's now all Kansas. We might have started comfortably well, but um, not like now. As we creep and quarter to the 45 minute mark, it's been it's been pretty dismal, I'm afraid. Corner, Romalo, Porter strikes straight at Mila. That would have changed my uh, team talk. But there it is, half time, nil nil. So the Timbers get a second half underway. We are looking for a goal. We are looking for a goal. Fortunately, I think I've got some good substitutions I can make to try and spice it up a bit. Looking at some options. Blanco, Matox, Falcon. Oh, Romalo now trying to keep it in play. Can he get another bite at it? Miller strikes straight in the arms of Mila. But yeah, I'm looking at Di Guigno, looking at Forlan. I'm looking at Island of Chara. Sixty minutes just about just upon us. Ugh. Go back to the pitch. Highlight. Rios. Back to Mira. Porter. Towards Matox. Rios. Nagby. Blanco. Picks out Myers. Falco. Myers. Matox. Come on, keep it alive. Miller. Romalo. Nagby. Where's the shot? Where's the shot? Falco. Nagby. Just a lot of dancing around and eventually. Ends up nothing. A couple changes there. Dinguino for Matox. Ireland for Nagby. Susie with the free kick. Hits a load of bodies and comes back out to Romalo now. Gets it for the Timbers. Falcon to Myers. Menzis picks out Miller. Can he get a cross in? No. He's uh, brought out for a corner though. Ireland will take it to Romalo now. Picks out Dinguino. Can he get a cross in? No. Looks like he was offside. Oh, it's just so frustrating that we can't flip and get a win. 20 minutes to go. Tiam blocked by Porter. McKinnon is in there. It's going to be a goal kick or a free kick for Mira and the Timbers. Last few minutes. When I say few, I mean 18. Last 18 minutes. Last 15 minutes. Oh, golly. Mira punts it long towards Falcon, Dinguino, Blanco makes a run, Miller, oh, Romano with a header straight at the keeper. This doesn't look good, Tiam strikes, it goes wide. Rios, long, beautiful ball, Romano one and one with the keeper, thank heavens for that, what a time to strike. Got to chuck it a quick concentrate here before I forget, Rios with an impeccably long ball. Romalo, not my preferred choice to have this one-on-one -on -one situation, but he does take it and he does score and he does, hopefully, if we can ride this out, this last eight minutes. Oh, gee whiz. 
that would have been painful to take, but it's still not over. Oh, bodies everywhere, goes for a corner. Susi will float it in there. Falcon heads it clear. Only as far as Espinosa. Oh, long ball over the top. Mira collects it. Pick a pass out. Pick a good pass. Tinguino, Blanco, Falcon, Romalo. Oh, good effort. Good effort. Still not over Myers. Sets up Romalo. One on with the keeper again. This time, keeper gets, gets the end of the better of it. Romalo. Again, it will be. Nope, it's not. Goal kick. Goal kick. Would my substitutions have any play in this? Perhaps. Come on. Bestler. Oh, sugar. Hold on. Espinosa. Blanco breaks it up. Dinguino. What can he do? Crosses in there and it amounts to nothing. Last 60 seconds. Romalo. Miller. Blanco. Here comes Gerso. McKinnerary. Can he get onto it? No. Mira. Take your time, boy. Take your time. Take your sweet time. Falcon. Romalo. To Miller, get a cross in. Let's wrap it up. Last 20 seconds. Big punt forward. McKinnon is broken down by Menzies. Gerso, though, Porter. Great job by the back. And that is the lot. And that is the win. Eight minutes from time. Rodrigo Romalo is my new hero. And that result keeps us in third place. It does bring us closer. We do have a game in hand on Kansas City. But... What really matters is that it is the first win in one, two, three, four, five, six, six games, uh, including the friendlies, of course, but uh, a really bad run of form for uh, Portland. But it ends right here, right now. In the next episode, we're going to take on Dallas and Hassan Jose. So we're going to go straight back into it with some more action. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll give you bang up today with all things Football Manager 2018 related.